Welcome back to Retro Game Show, everybody. Oh, I've waited two weeks for this. And Chris just got a half chub. No, seriously, uh, we are so excited for this. We Ooh. wanted to play Tunic right when it came out because it was literally like one day out. When but we Jesse, recorded. what happened? Tell us what happened. Um, our game capture. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Our game capture card after eight years decided to finally kick it. And so, um, yeah, two weeks ago, full disclosure, Jesse and I played Dread and Mario, and they're like, let's play some Tunic, and we got super sour. Because we realized that we lost three hours worth of recording. And Chris is like, can't we try to do something? I'm like, man, I'm so defeated. I didn't. I wasn't in the right headspace. So now, even though we are <clears throat> still dealing with fucking issues, it's all good. Still. We are playing Tunic, I and Chris me. is going to show me this game, and my God. God, the aesthetics are really nice. Very nice. It, and does and and I when I first saw this game, you know, what a few years ago, advertised. Yeah. I knew right away that it was gonna be like. I'm like, that looks like a fucking Link to the Past clone. And it kind of is, cause look at him. He has his little tunic. It's even called tunic. And his little beret. I mean, yes, he's a fox, but he has his little beret like matches Link's like pink hair, in the sense. Yeah. So. But I love the isometric look. It actually mm. reminds me a lot of um, this game called Death's Door. Yeah. Um, but I think like this soft kind of, I don't want to call it like claymation-y look, but like this really soft, Ooh. high polish, but simple right. polygon, um, Where's the aesthetic sword? is just, it's really pleasing because, and actually I think it was Dunky did a really good video on why, um, yes, you got, got a stick, you got a stick, bro. And now you can, how do you do it again? In Life Moon and Knees, it said. <laughs> Um, but he oh, made wait. he made a video on um, why Overwatch works so well, and why a game called I think it was called like Outriders or something. It was another team based MOBA kind of shooter thingy, but it was like technically better graphics and better you know like explosions and more complex blah 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 blah. Yeah. But yeah. What he said is it was it was so it was so complex that, it, that you didn't have clear goals or clear objectives of what you're looking at and what's interactable and what's not. Right. And that's why um, Overwatch works so well is because it's incredibly clean, but it's very, very, very easy to see what's what and what's not. Oh, and then there was another component. Oh, because it's made. ridiculous. It's like all that high fidelity, right? It, yeah, it was just too much stuff. Ooh. And that's the exact same reason League of Legends works really, really well. With a little head and in the water. Dota, like something Dota doesn't. Um, no. ooh, it's a foxy head. But yeah, that and that's my gripe with Dota. It's so non-specific. Like everything is just. It's pretty, but it's messy. It's, it's not so, clear. And that's why, also, I don't care for Heroes of the Storm. It's just, it's just literally. I know it's be beating League right now, like in terms of like player count, but it's just so, it's so chaotic. And like that's why I love these like simplistic games. Well, and I've also heard that. Um, oh shit! Heroes, of, you said Heroes of the Storm, right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I've also heard uh, heard Heroes of the Storm is has more fun factor yes because there's like your points are gr are based on on like the team's effort mm -hmm. not your individual efforts and then there's all sorts oh, of like silly like shit that happens in like the map and like yeah. all sorts of like environmental effects but i mean let's be honest blizzard's very good about their jokes oh sure they they, oh. they know oh, how to make shit and fun. check it out it's Whoa. your it's your bonfire it's a bonfire it's literally a bonfire Oh, I love the lighting in this. And then the enemies go. Oh, there's the key. Stop I mean. Don't. I'll kill you. <laughs> that only took one. I'll, I'll kill you. Um, but yeah, so I, I was right. I since we didn't play it last week or two weeks ago, Jesse and I got upset. I, I went on my own and played it for a little bit. And oh shit, I forgot the, the attack buttons. B. Ah. So this game, whoever you guys, have, it's I've been out for like a week or so now. You'll you'll find that this game has, it's combining about four different games. It has Link to the Past. It has Dark Souls. It has um, Hollow Knight. It's got it has elements from so many fucking games. It's really really cool. And you know, and and some people like might be like, ah. oh, it's just an amalgam uh, amalgamation of all these other fucking mechanics. But I'm sorry, if the mechanics work and the design and the aesthetic is your own, then. You're paying homage to it. You're not copying. Oh, and you start your stopwatch. New. No. Start it and just just, <laughs> just add like two minutes to your. I don't know. Oh, and this is cute. You get pages of the manual as you go. I heard about this. Okay, so I watched like five minutes of review and they yeah, said this was very, um, it like the NES, uh, yeah, Zelda, like, yeah, because uh, these are cute. Oh. 
Yeah, so I have page instruction manual. That's what it was. Thank you. Funny. Yeah. So it has page. I'm on, I have page ten. As you go, you get more pages. You can zoom in and like look at all the detail they put into it. Oh, that's cool. I've also I also heard, and this is not a spoiler, that there's a lot of context clues in those pages. So they say make sure to look at them carefully because if you're stuck, then that's actually in, in my in my one or two hours of playing, I did notice a few of those. But yeah, this game. So I haven't died yet because I'm trying to be careful. Oh, someone took that. Um. But yeah, there's just amazing like little, the huh? Oh, sorry, I like the music. Oh, it's very just tranquil. Let's see. Okay, can't go there yet. That actually reminds me, the music it reminds me a lot of um, Hyperlight, but not quite as sad. Oh, and thank you. That was the other element. It's very yeah, it's very Hyperlighty. That ambient, peaceful. This is a little bit more joyous. Where correct? Where Hyperlight was much more kind of much more sad. Yeah, much yeah, <laughs> very <laughs> bleak. <laughs> you are very alone in that world like this this game yes you're alone but yeah so it, this combines that's the that's the fourth one thank you it has hyperlight hollow knight dark souls i mean dark souls and hyperlight i mean and dark souls and hollow knight have some similarities. we're the same or yeah the yeah. same already but like this is where if i die i'll try not to die but if, if you die in this game you have a little like foxy spirit and then you go smash him and get all your stuff back. So it's, that's what the Hollow Knight yeah. part's like. So you have a little spear that stays. Well, and that's such a smart mechanic. Like the bonfire resetting the enemies and you dropping like your quote unquote souls mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the chance of losing them. But also it, it encourages you to go back and fight the thing that killed you. Exactly. East Forest. Okay, let's see if this is the right way. I'm trying, to find, I'm trying to find the hero. There's, there's, a, there's a thing called the hero's chamber early on, that, and that's where you get the sword. That's the only spoiler I'll give you guys. Is I played this. To, I got the sword instead of this goddamn stick. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to find. So here's our page of the, of the manual. Oh, it tells cool. all your controls. Yeah, dude, the fucking little drawn jams are so cute. And yeah, see, it shows you to roll. He's like, hoof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the Dark Souls roll. The, the yeah, yeah, the th 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 Oh, that's cute. I really like his design or her design. Doesn't matter. Yeah, what, whoever this cute foxy person is. It's kind of the nice thing is since they don't really tell you, you can personify it however you, you want. You really could. And now it's quiet inside this. Uh, I just noticed inside this cavern, it's quiet. I wish this was for Switch, but I can already tell why it's not because the graphics are pretty rock solid. I don't think the Switch could run this. Really? Well, yeah, because look at all those like the cascading ambient lights. Yeah, but you're actually it, reacting with your yeah, but it runs freaking Breath of the Wild. That's an open world huge that's thing. That's because Breath of the Wild was completely optimized by Nintendo from the ground up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What am I doing in here? Okay, let's go. Holy shit! What? By the way, what did you know that the Metroid Dread is made by the same? Oh, team geez. As, oh fuck. Sorry, buddy. Oh, bonfire. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> is made by the same team who did the the three DS version that makes a lot of sense someone keeps stealing my shit what the fuck You're like what the fuck man i'm the i'm the hero i'm the i'm the hero of the story i'm the foxy fox man oh east forest yeah oh I, but I didn't i didn't know that that's cool yeah so i mean because like they're the last ones to do a side scrolling metroid and apparently ah. that game was ah. rocking enough for nintendo to be like yeah we ah. want you to do ah. this primary one interesting i mean i'm not i shouldn't say i'm surprised they look very similar yeah Surprisingly, if you go back and look at like, like just video of that 3DS version, yeah, Sam Miss looks really strange. Like really? Her, her character model is very odd looking. Interesting. I'll have to go check it out. Oh god, Isa. Uh... Smack, smack, smack. Oh, there we go. Hero's grave. It even kind of gives you a, a clue, like you said, a context clue. It look, uh, do you see the sign? What's on it? Oh yeah. Sword. <laughs> Sword. What's in here? Let's explore. Yeah, so guys, I unfortunately played this a little bit ahead of Jesse just because that day was so depressing for us. I'm like, I want to play something fun. Yeah. And so I... We were pretty defeated. We were so defeated. And so I dove into this a bit. It's been really... It's really nice. If you haven't played it yet, yes, we're always a bit late to the game. It's just how we roll. We can't record every day like, you know, like... like prof yeah, yeah, we're not, prof <laughs> we're not professionals. And we are, but, you know, I'm trying to be... Oh, fuck. I'm trying to qualify that we can't always meet, like on like a scheduled time yeah we're adults man we and this isn't our primary job no oh, fuck. like a lot of youtubers oh, fuck. yeah yeah, yeah. This so is like our side so not even hustle no it's been <laughs> yeah yeah no hustle. so it's been like two weeks oh there's a oh is this it already Ooh. really da, 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 da. oh it's a potion oh that's fine well i'll put that on oh it defaults to wait right button shit oh it oh it defaults to its own button okay yeah, right button 
Um, so yeah, Jesse and I can't do this when we want to. So I wanted to play it. So I'm a, I only played it a little bit to kind of peek ahead and get some of the basic mechanics down. Mm -hmm. But I think the part I really resonate with Hollow Knight or Hyperlight is the music. Yeah, like it's the, that ambient. It like that, shifts as you move. Yes, actually that, it reminds me a lot of Chrono Trigger. The forest. Yes. Yes. Literally, it just clicked. It's got that with that weird kind of like warped pan flutey kind of fucking. Yeah, yeah. I one thousand percent hear Chrono Trigger Forest. That's right. I forgot you beat that game, didn't you? Oh yeah. yeah on my on my, on my DSI. Oh, let's let's get some health. Chrono Trigger. Mm -hmm. fucking masterpiece. Oh, it is. If we ever could get back to a standard recording schedule, Jesse, I would love to fucking do Crown Trigger. Probably have you do it's it. It's a long game. Dude. I know, but we can, we can trim the fat if we look at a strategy guide. Yeah. Well, no, I know exactly how to beat the game. Oh, there we go then. There's a lot of grinding. There's a lot of battles. Well, we can always off-screen the, the grinding. Ugh. Whoa. Ugh. Hammer pan. So pretty. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's that way. You know what does make me happy, though? Tell me. Um, oh, where, are we, where are we at this episode? Uh, we got about two more minutes. Okay, go. Um, we. So, I got lucky, uh, and my Steam Deck showed up. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I can't get here. You need the sword. Oh. You can't You can't cut down the fat, the chunky the chunky bushes yet. The big, the big. <laughs> the big bushes. The big. Uh, so, okay, you said Steam Deck? Yeah, so yeah. my Steam Deck came in, and I mm -hmm. ended up pre-ordering the, the wee, most expensive wee, one. So, wee, it's wee. the 512, the fastest SSD. Um, it's got the na the nano texture glass, so like it's it's pretty nice. What's up, big boy? And I gotta say, like, oh fuck you. Software wise, okay. So first off, the hardware Ugh. is fantastic. The oh graphics, geez, sorry. Go ahead. Card. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, I'm gonna die. Sorry. Can talk. Talk. Thank you. Talk over me. I don't care. It doesn't work. <laughs> you can see people will understand what but you're it, doing without you making. Oops but it and, does. Oops and okay. Boops. Okay. Go. Um, but the hardware is fantastic. The switches, the buttons, the everything. The graphics card is incredibly top tier. Like, there are games that run at rock solid. Well, okay, so it's a 720p screen at 7.9. Just, just like, oh, it ate all things. Go. Um, and so it's 720p. Unfortunately, it's only it's only an LCD display, which now that I'm fucking hooked on my OLED display, ugh, on, on the Switch, it's, it's really, really hard to look back at an LCD. But anyway, hardware is rock solid. Oh, this is cool looking. This is your death. Um, Spirit. Uh, I know what happens. We're like, where do you go? Right? You just keep going. Whoa. You go talk to Mama. Hi, Mama. I am the Cosmic Fox. <laughs> oh, this reminds me a lot of... Uh, um, and she just brings you back. Fez. Using the bright rainbow colors and the geometry and stuff. Yep. And she just brings you back. Oh, And then it's all quiet and you're back. Yep. That's cute. So the most fastest SSD. Yeah. So so anyway, the rock. Uh, so the the, the the triggers, the 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 D pads, the this, the that, and everything else is amazing. Um, I will tell you more about the software on the next episode, though, because okay. I have things to say about it. Okay. Um, so next time on Retro Game Show, we are going to have some more tuna. More tuna. Fuck. More blah. More blah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Roll. Roll. Roll.